two, one. Hi guys, so what we are going to be doing today is starting to get into some of the advanced game making stuff. We've got three mini lessons before you get into your code and cultural game. Uh, and this first one is, I think, going to be pretty interesting to most people because it's just when you start to get into the point that you can do stuff that legitimately looks cool and it starts to go up. So first day t today, we are going to go over sprite sheets and fully animating a character. Tomorrow we're going to go over, or on Monday, we're going to go over shooting a projectile and having that interact with a different object. So in code and cultural in your coding cultural project, that could be like you're the spearman, you throw the spear, hits the whale, get a point. Um, and then we're going to be going over adding points. Uh, that, And you probably touched on that a little bit in the code.org if you've gotten far enough. So to start things off, what is a sprite sheet? I'm going to jump back here because I just typed it in. And it's a sprite sheet is a bitmap image or just any graphical image um, that compiles all the sprites of a character to enable animation. So when we search for that in Google, it'll come, usually come up with something like this um, or something like this. So this is just the default. I haven't changed anything. So these are sprite sheets. So when you download these, once you attach them either to Scratch or if you're doing something more advanced, like Game Maker, which can produce professional uh, video games, um, that you'll be able to animate fairly easy. So I'm going to take you through that process right now. So for mine, I like Mario. Um, and so I, I searched around and I found this one that seemed like fairly high resolution is about 500 pixels. And there's two different ways. So some sprite sheets are transparent, but most aren't. So I'm going to take us through the process of once you get your sprite sheet, if it's not transparent, making it so. We're going to jump back into Pixlr. And it's one of the reasons that we went over Pixlr for such a long time. So you can type in whatever you want. Some of the sprite sheets contain every single animation for a game. So this is a full Super Mario World sprite sheet of just Mario. So this isn't the enemies, but this is every single animation that Mario has. This is why it takes a year or two to make games, right? And you've got, you know, uh, 50 or 100 or 200 people working on it. And this is just a 2D game, right? So coming over, um, yeah, and that's a, a more enhanced view, right? So you just see all the little attack animations coming out of pipes, moving around, doing all that. Um, so also, th there's uh, once you get into advanced coding, so if you want to continue with this into high school, like with something like Python, there's programs where you can uh, do all the um, like hacking your own, just rebuilding Mario from from scratch using code. What we're going to be doing is a little simpler. So what we want to do now is once you've downloaded your sprite sheet, you want to make sure it's more than 200 pixels. Otherwise, it might be a little too small. We're going to open our image from a computer. I'm going to get our sprites. So you've got to decide what you want to animate. And I think what I want to animate is the small Mario because that's who he's going to fit. So what we want to do is crop. So I'm going to come up here and click the crop tool. Also, FYI, Pixlr got a got bought out by another company and has got an upgrade. So the, the ads are smaller. Uh, okay, so we've cropped out just the small Mario sprites. What are we going to do now? Now we need to make it transparent, just like we were doing before. So this might, you should be able to remember most of this. What do we need to do to make it transparent? We need to double click on the lock. So we've unlocked layer one. Now we can start to delete it. So what I'm going to do is go up, up here to the magic brush. Remember, that'll take all of one color. Like when we were doing the green screen, I'm going to click on the white, and I'm going to press delete. Now that looks pretty good, but I know that there's a couple little spots in between. So if I zoom in um, on this, I can move down. There, there's some white in here. If you want help, if you have some more complicated sprites, these are pretty simple. Uh, remember, you can add new layer. This is just what we did in the green screen project. And I'm going to take the paint bucket, make sure I'm on that new layer. I hit black. And then I'm going to go back to my sprites layer. Sometimes it's helpful if you name these. And then I'm going to use my magic brush now that I make sure I'm on my sprites layer and come around and get all the little white that was in there. So just delete. Yeah, and this is the exact same process that we used on the green screen, trying to get all the green out. Okay, so now that that's done, I don't see any more white. I'm just going to toss out my that black layer and I'm going to save this as my transparent Mario layer. Remember, you've got to save it as a PNG. Um, once you've once you've edited your sheet that you're going to use, you want to upload that on your Google Classroom. Okay. Um, if you want to save it just as when we do a save, you could save as your, my name, Sprite Sheet PNG, and so you're going to upload your my name, Sprite Sheet PNG, to your Google Classroom. That'll keep it safe just in case anything happens. And then part two of the project is we're taking that into Scratch. 
and I'm going to make a second video for that. So it'll be broken up a little bit. Okay, thanks. I'm excited to see what we make, and I'll be back in a second to start the second video of actually creating that animation.